Welcome to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. If you're new to the show, please click the subscribe button. You can watch all my videos, and please search all the videos and see if there's anything you like in there. Um, there's over 95 videos at this point in, uh, on YouTube, and they're all pretty much all Photoshop Elements. Um, so, they're there for you to use and to learn with. Next, I wanted to tell you, if you stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, I created a survey today. And that survey, um, I need you to take that survey if you've been watching the show for a while, just so I can get an idea of uh, what's coming up. I got some more ideas, and I put them in that survey, and I want your responses. So, it'd be nice to hear from you. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. Also, always check out the website and look for anything new, jackstechcorner.com. Today, we took a trip to a uh, local museum here. And while at the museum, I was taking some pictures, naturally. Took the camera and I was shooting a lot of pictures. You know, you come home, you get them in the organizer, you think, wow, these are great. I shot a lot of nice pictures today. And then you look and say, how in the heck did I shoot that? You know, what did I do there? What did I do wrong? Well, that's where we're lucky, folks, because we have the power of our editor. This picture here was shot. Uh, the two girls are sitting in the front. And then this is all within glass. Now, whenever you're shooting in glass, it poses some certain types of issues. And I'm sure you've seen these issues when you shot through glass, even if you shoot through the windshield of your car. I know I'm always watching my daughter when she's shooting, and I say, look, when you're shooting glass, turn the flash off, uh, turn your ISO settings um, higher number, like 800 even, so you can get, you know, capture as much light as possible, but you don't want that flash reflecting into the screen. So I did all that. I thought, wow, Jack, you did all that. It looks really good. But it doesn't look as good in the editor as what it looked on the viewer. So this is our final picture here that we came up with, well, that I came up with. Now let me show you how I got here. Let me go ahead and close all this. And we'll start from scratch. Picture 56. Let's go ahead and pull up picture 56. Throw it back in the editor. Okay. Now, we're going to call this Shooting Glass. That's the name of this tutorial. Let's do a Control Zero. Open that up full screen. Right away you can see a couple problems here. Let me get the magnifying glass here and watch. Here's my daughter. And look, she's shooting without the flash. Here's dear old dad that told her to shoot without a flash. Look at dear old dad. That's me. There's my flash. So, I guess it's do as I say, not as I do. Over here, look at this. My wife was looking on, and we caught her in the picture. Now, what happens there, let's fit that back to screen, is that it kind of ruins the picture, right? It, it, you know, you can crop it out, but then you're going to lose the background, and they're trying to imitate the sills or the walruses back here. So you're going to lose that detail. We can't lose the detail. We have to fix the picture. Now, the easiest way to fix glass, and this normally works, is to use our clone stamp tool and we're cloning the underlying colors is what we're cloning. The camera or the editor doesn't know this was glass, it's just seeing the colors underneath. So let's go ahead and begin to clean the picture up. First thing we want to do is duplicate the background. Control J. Now we're going to start working with this picture right here. So I got my magnifying glass. I like to do that because I like to blow this up a little bit so I can work on things. I'll blow this up even more right here and we'll start working right here. Now the clone stamp tool is a great tool because you can use a brush size as big as you wish. That's too big. Let's lower it back down. And when we have it blown up like this, we can see that it's very easy to work. So find uh, you know, a solid color that you're working with before you start cloning. Hold your Alt key down. We've done this before. And click. And then just start clicking your mouse where you want to clone. And we're going to start getting rid of the imperfections. 
be careful with this folks not to go outside the lines you're gonna to have to lower your brush size down this is just a real quick and dirty way to get some of this out of here remember I like to sample as close as possible to where I'm fixing things let's get her coat out of here and you know we all make mistakes I've been shooting for years and I still make mistakes thank goodness I know how to edit that's that's the good thing here folks I do know how to do some editing so let's just close this out like I said as close as possible be careful because he has tusks right I guess these are tusks or fangs or whatever you want to refer to them as you don't want to make them black because they're not black they're kind of a brownish color so lower your mouse or your brush and get in here with some detail then go up here and sample on this and come down here you can lower this down a little bit to get to the point take a new sample come right in here get the point might as well do this side when we're here all right come back in here I raised the brush up a little bit and I'm going to click in here raise that brush size up again a little bit pick out some of this cloud color pick out this up here and I teach people in my classes that you know generally people looking at your pictures were not with you so if you make a mistake if that cloud if you make more clouds than what's actually on the picture are they going to be able to tell? No. They're not going to be able to tell one bit. Okay. Let's come back here to the back. Where a little bit of this flash is. So it's not hard to get rid of the flash. It's just more time consuming. And actually, I think I know where I turned the flash. I took the first shot. And I don't think I had my ISO set high enough. So I didn't catch a, uh, capture a good shot. So then I just clicked the flash and I told the girls to stay there and I'll just shoot one with the flash. I think that's what I did. So. Let's clean some of this up. And like I said, we're just clicking around here. Clean it up. Okay. Let's scroll over here. Raise the brush size up some more. Click. And disappear, right? like so might have been a spot on the glass look we can even clean that spot up on the glass now let's go fit the screen let's have a look looks better something in here that could be a marking on the glass you know museums are like anywhere else people uh, touch the glass there we go we're gonna clean this up right here and this part We'll come in here and get a couple of these out of here. Oops, made a mistake. We can fix that very easily. There we go. Now, to fit the screen, looks pretty good. We got it all cleaned up. We got us out of there. Now it's just them and the walruses. So it's working out very, very well for us so far. The only thing else I didn't like about this picture when I shot it is it's very dark. Now, we have to fix that and we're going to do it by using a adjustment layer just like we've done in the past with a little bit of a twist then actually I had a uh, one of the viewers emailed me this and said Jack try this you're gonna like it and uh, I wish I had his name on top of uh, my list here but I do not but I do thank you and I do like this tip and as soon as you see it you'll remember that I sent that to Jack we have our level selected and as you've seen there, what we did here, let me, let's do it again. I selected Adjustment Layer, Levels, and then I just click OK. I don't do anything. Don't touch it yet because we're not ready. We're going to be working with this mask, this uh, layer mask right here. What we're going to do now is pull out a gradient. Now the gradient that we're going to use is black over white. That's the gradient we're using. 
Now, why do we do that? Well, we don't want to take and brighten, blow out too much of this background, but we want to brighten the girls up. That's the important part. So you're going to hold your shift key down just to draw a straight line, left click your mouse and pull down, straight down. Now watch that layer mask on the right when I leave this go. You can see here, it put black in the top, white in the bottom. Now we double click and open this adjustment layer for our levels, we're just going to be working on the bottom. But I see this is not uh, low enough yet, so I'm going to do one more right here. We're going to do it again, pull it down further here. There we go. Now you can see we have it down further, down here at the baseline. So we're not going to touch this, but we are going to lighten this up some. Now double click it, open it up, and let's start working with our levels. You can see how we're not blowing the top. Look, I could blow that out and that top stays the same because it's painted black. There we go. Might want to adjust that down a little bit. It's probably overexposed at this point. Pull this up a little bit. Now it looks like a lot better picture. It looks like something I would have shot. It's uh, more robust. You can see everything. It's great detail. Uh, we pulled these up just enough and we didn't blow out the top. That was our goal. That's what we were trying to do. If you pull up some of the shadows again, by all means, just go back to your clone stamp tool. Reclone it. Because we lightened some of the picture up. So you want to reclone that and just get rid of that stuff. best you can there you go that'll clone that out of there then we can do a file we're gonna do a save as and you will you've seen this uh, picture in the opening video I've been trying to do that lately um, just to kind of introduce the picture itself or I mean the video And like I said, we are going to call this Shooting Through Glass. Okay, folks, until next time, remember, please remember to jump over to jackstechcorner.com. Check everything out there that there is uh, for you to see. Um, you can jump on our forums. I see we have almost 100 people now signed up. That's pretty good. Even though we have uh, almost 1,800 subscribers on our YouTube videos, I don't know why that don't uh, correlate over to the forums. You know, so we can all start chatting back and forth. Also, please jump over and uh, take that survey. There's five questions, only five, and I can only take a hundred people on this survey. So the first hundred people, you get to get in there and uh, give me your opinions. After that, the survey will automatically close, and I'll take the opinions from that first hundred people. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking. Be careful of glass, and keep the editors editing. Make everything better with an edit. I'll see you back here next time. And bye for now.